Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new, thank you very much. We are truly grateful that you decided to check us out. Today we're going to be focused on a breeding setup. And throughout our time here on YouTube, we have bred all kinds of color strains of guppies. We have successfully and very unsuccessfully bred crabs. And now we're working on some different color shrimp strains. But today we're going to be focused on a brand new species of fish that we have never bred before. It is a live bearer, so they will give birth to live young, which makes them simple to breed. This is an easy setup for anybody to do. If you happen to like these breeding videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell because we're going to be giving you updates on our baby vampire crabs and our other breeding projects in the next few videos. Now it's time to wash these bins and I'm going to use some Blue Dawn dish detergent and I got a lot of negative feedback in a previous video that I shouldn't wash these with anything. Well, I will respectfully disagree with you. Plastic is made from oil and the oil residue left inside of this plastic is extremely toxic to the fish. By using this Blue Dawn dish detergent, it removes all of that oil residue. I'm not making the recommendation to you that you should use it, but if you decide to, make sure that you use one single drop in your plastic bin and you will want to rinse it until every bit of the soap residue is gone. Now these breeding bins are going to be dual purpose. We will also be growing plants for sale at freshwaterscrub.com. So I'm filling the bottom with a mixture of different types of substrate to make a dirted system. There are plenty of recipes out on the internet that you can find and this one seems to work best for me. Because we will be planting these systems, we're going to lay down some root tabs over top of this dirted substrate. We're also going to be using some additives for the water as well. But what I like to do is just crush these up and sprinkle them right over top of the substrate. Now that we have the dirted substrate prepared, we're going to come back with a sprayer full of tank water and we're going to clean off the insides of these tubs, washing all the dirt and debris down into the bottom. This will help prevent getting any dirt into the water when we start to fill these up. Now that we have this system put where it's going permanently, it's time to cap off this dirted substrate. And what we're using is a silica-based pool filter sand. This sand makes for a great capping material as when you press plants down into it, it will immediately fill the divot with the sand, preventing the dirt from coming up underneath. This will hold the plant in place while the plant grows its roots down into the dirted substrate. Now I could use something like fluval stratum as an example and just call it a day, but I've only got about 100 pounds of that left and at $50 per 17 pound bag, I think I'll save that for the intricate aquascapes that I have planned coming up. On top of that, everything in this one bin right here, which would take about 10 pounds of fluval stratum, is costing me right at about $8. So it's a much more economical method. Now it's time to fill these things up and I'm gonna use the paper towel method. I lay a paper towel down in the bottom over the substrate and I lay the hose directly on top of it. That way when I turn the water on, it fills over the top of the paper towel and does not disturb the substrate, preventing the water from getting overly cloudy. And now we're going to head over to freshwaterscrub.com and use the code PLANTS for 10% off some sponge filters. I like to use these filters in all of my setups because you can fully articulate the arms that hold the sponge, which allows you to put these in places would normally not fit. And now it's time to add some aeration. We'll put a check valve on here to prevent backflow of water into the aerator. When you are running multiple lines from a single aerator, it is imperative that you run your longest line first and then cut every other line to the same length. 
The reason for this is because air will take the path of least resistance, which means that if one hose is shorter than another, then that particular filter is going to get more airflow than the one further away. One thing I did not show on camera was the fact that I dechlorinated this water with some API Stress Coat Plus, as well as added some API Quick Start to jumpstart the nitrogen cycle. We'll let this system run for a couple of days, then we'll test the water to make sure it is safe for the fish. In the meantime, let's get some of these plants planted. We're planting all kinds of things in here. We have things like hornwort, different kinds of crypts, Amazon swords, java fern, different types of anubias, all different kinds of stem plants. You can find our entire list at freshwaterscrub.com. And now, what everybody's been waiting for. Let's get these fish in here. These are gambusia and they are live bearers and are prolific breeders just like guppies. So all you have to do is have a good setup, put them in there, and they're gonna make babies. Well, hopefully you went on to enjoy this video and you have enjoyed watching the setup of these new breeding systems as well as plant grow out systems. Now, while I was filming this video, if you haven't seen my last video, right in the middle of filming this video, I had a major catastrophe occur in the house and you can see that right here. The 300 gallon ruptured a seam and was spilling water everywhere. So we fully had to break that down and if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and watch it because it was absolutely terrible. But we'll get that thing set back up soon and get it going once again. But with that, guys, hopefully you went on to enjoy this video. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. If you are, make sure you drop a like and make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell. As well as go follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links to both are down below in the description. And of course, use your 10% off code of plants at freshwaterscrub.com for 10% off all of our merchandise, plants, sponge filters, everything like that. I just want to express my absolute gratitude for each and every one of you for coming back to watch our videos. And with that, hey, we will see you next time.